Hi, my name is Mike. I'm the Thunder Laser Distributor from New Zealand. This is the Navi 35. I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to the machine. Some of the things I look at when I'm evaluating machinery from China. So, like any machine, it is it only as good as the sum of all its parts. And uh, with the Thunder Laser, I'll just point out some of the items that I look at when I'm evaluating machinery. In this particular case, I'm looking very closely at the rail and roller system. In this particular case, they're using rails and rollers. And they've actually cantilevered these here. So, in a period of about maybe 12 months, two years, you might actually get a little bit of wear there. It's the sort of thing you're going to want to adjust. It's the kind of thing that you want to keep your daily maintenance up to and uh, keep working on. It's, uh, it's a pretty straightforward system. It works really, really nice. The motion is very, very smooth. Okay. Straight out of the box, out of the crate, finding the beam alignment on the Thunder Laser is absolutely perfect in every instance of every installation I've done in New Zealand. I'm really impressed with this because it's actually made my job relatively straightforward. It takes quite a bit of work on some machines I've found, from the first mirror back here to the second mirror to the third mirror through the lens to actually sometimes beam align these machines when I've worked on other people's machinery. Uh, in many cases I've found it's been impossible to even get a 90 degree cut because the engineering and the production of a machine has been actually made in a way that it's just simply not possible. It's not the case with the Thunder Lasers. They've been absolutely excellent. The actual beam is exiting perfectly centrally out of the aperture here. And I'm finding that it's actually working really, really nice. A lot of the components that I'm looking at and seeing here, they've actually done an incredibly good job of their finishing. They're actually spending a lot of time and attention to detail with all their anodizing. It's just working really, really sweet from their adjustments, screws here, it fits. Everything is just working really, really nice. Okay. The Z-axis handles are working really, really sweet. This is a really crucial component of the machine. If your Z-axis table is not level with your laser head, then there's no way that you can cut across your entire table. Just like if your beam alignment is out, there's no way you can cut across your entire table. Again, this is another instance of where Thunder Laser have just been hitting the mark on every single little piece. Okay. So I'm just going to introduce you to the red dot registration system. As you can see, there is a visible red dot actually on the surface of the work. This gives you a good indication of where your laser beam is actually going to be firing. Really, really handy if you have your sheet of material, an off cut of material, you want to see where your job is actually going to go. I've got this instant registration. This is actually being combined in with the laser beam, right around the back, in with the laser tube. Really, really handy function. Most of my customers, customers in New Zealand I really love this function. I'll show you what this does around the back. One of the great benefits of the Thunder Laser System is the control system. I found this really, really straightforward to use. Again, Thunder Laser have a lot of training and tutorial information on their website. You can look at basic processes from the software, how it works, all the way through to how to do things on the controller. I'll just demonstrate one of those really, really good benefits right now, and that is the work estimation. It's a time function that tells you how long your job's going to run. This is crucial when it comes to actually estimating what's the job going to take. If you're pricing it, this is absolutely fundamental. Go to the file menu, I get a quick preview of what I've got here. Jog over to the right and down to the work time function and enter. It'll calculate away for a little while, depending on the size of the file, that might take a little while, maybe a few minutes, and it'll come up with your actual time. In this particular case, 17 minutes and 38 seconds. And that's exactly what it'll take. There's a preview of your job before you're going to run it. Okay, so I'm just going to take, talk a little bit about some of the wiring, some of the components that are going on inside the Thunder Laser. They put a lot of time and energy into doing their wiring and actually wiring diagrams that have gone all the way through the whole system. The quality of the wiring they're using, I'm finding exceptional, all the way through the cable looms, all the way through to their servo motors. This is actually a really, really important detail. I find a lot of machines that I've worked on in the past um, have had several issues with wiring, and that has not been the case with Thunder Lasers. The servo motors are working absolutely fantastically at high speeds. And of course, with the servo motor, you have the torque. They're operating really, really well. Okay. 
The isolation of the laser gives you good control over the actual power of the machine. You can actually run air cuts and test files without actually the laser firing. It gives you good control over actually your actual powering up and down of the machine. You have your main switch, which is your power on, and your laser switch, which is your second. And then you have your basic reverse for powering back down. Laser switch off, and the main switch. The filters. All the EMI, EMC that I see on other machines that get all sorts of issues, I have not seen on the Thunder lasers. All the way through to the earth bonding of the chassis, which is conforming to the standards, health and safety that I have to actually meet for uh, New Zealand requirements. Power supplies, working absolutely fantastic. I haven't had a single issue with the power supply on a single machine. The only things I've ever come across have been the occasional cooling fan, for me that's not really a big issue. It's a very, very simple item to replace. Not really a big deal. So we're just going to take a look at your high voltage power supply with your Thunder laser. This is basically the powerhouse supplying the voltage to your glass laser tube. It's the critical component of your machine. Take a wee look in here. Again, you've got another example of the level of detail of wiring that is going through. Everything has been numbered and labelled, so that if anything was to go wrong, there's a very, very accurate wiring diagram that can be traced all the way through for everything. The level of detail that they're actually putting into some of the actual work effort is signalling to actually cancel out any earth loops. It's very, very good. It's really, really cool. I'm just going to introduce you now to a little relay system here, which they call the smart board. This is a really, really cool little function. It actually has four relays, and it basically is programmable to actually allow you to program your lamp, your air pump, your extraction fan, and then perhaps one other item, okay? I'll just run through it really, really quickly. This first one here, you see it clicks on, and then it's actually gone to the lamp. The second one is the air pump, and you can see that the air pump is set to uh, five seconds. So five seconds after the actual running of the machine is finished, it will switch itself off. One. This is the extraction fan you can get winding up. About 15 seconds after the job is finished, it'll wind itself down. Okay. The fourth relay here has been left spare. Basically, it is available for something else that you might want to power, but you do have a, a limitation of your wattage through the machine, so it's probably the best not to use it. Okay. Other things here that you probably would like to see is the milliamp meter over here. The milliamp meter is giving you an indication of how much power is actually running through your laser tube. And there is a recommendation from Thunder Laser on your milliamps with any laser tube. Speak with them about this because they can give you a good indication about how to actually manage the life of your laser tube by monitoring the maximum milliamps, maximum power that you're putting through your laser tube. You're welcome to abuse that, push it hard as you like, but you do so at your own, own risk. Last thing, uh, probably you might not be able to see, but actually in the corner over here, you can see just a little trembling of the actual water interlock system. This is a flow switch. This is basically monitoring your water cooling. And for any reason, if your water chiller was perhaps to be left switched off or for some reason it got a blockage or it didn't work, perhaps your tubes, something is sitting on it, it would not allow your laser to run. You would get a water protection error come up on your control. This is a really, really important function. Okay. So here we are around the back of the laser. I'm just going to introduce you to the engine room of the machine. It's all keyed. Keep it safe. Open this up. Okay. Well, we have the laser tube here with the water cooling running through it. And right here we have the red dot running through a beam combiner and your first mirror. There's some small adjustments here on the actual red dot. This is actually completely independent of the laser tube. So this is actually combining this in with your laser and firing through around. It gives you a good approximation of where your laser beam is going to be going. And it can be tuned in quite tight. Okay? Your laser tube, you can see they've got some very, very, very fine tuning on the actual height adjustments for this. Very, very well secured. You can see that they've got some just four points here which they're working to. It's very, very neat and tightly done. The actual alignment of the laser tube is really critical and they put a lot of time and effort into getting that right. Okay? That's, that's one of the sort of key things that I found with the Thunder lasers that I really like. With their laser tubes, they actually put a lot of work into actually testing their laser tubes. And here's an example of this laser. 
and its actual spot. They've actually put a lot of testing into it, and you can actually see the shape of the bean. You'll get one of these with every single laser tube that you get from Fonda Laser. It gives you a good indication of what you're up for. Okay.